Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, Where is Brittany? I'm Brittany and I'm coming to you from inside of my beautiful tiny home on wheels, Tamara. Now, I know my thumbnail states that mistakes were made when I purchased my RV and two big mistakes were made. But I will say overall, I'm happy with my purchase. Things could have went better, but overall, what's done is done. So let's go ahead and get into this video so you will be able to learn from my mistakes. Okie dokie my friends, I have my notebook. So let's go ahead and get started. The two mistakes that I made while purchasing my RV. The first one was I went by myself. And then the second mistake was I went and it was like a thunderstorm, hurricane warning, like all of this happening at one time. So let me go ahead and take you back to November 2022. Yes, you first, Jada baby. <laughs> yes, you go, girl. Look at this is our home. Yes, this is home. Home, girl. This is home. This is home. Good girl. Friends, what you're looking at is the new, new. Jada said, This is the bed now. It's about to rain and thunderstorm here in, in where are we in Ocala. Ocala. So it's a little dark, but honey, I'm home. <laughs> so Tamara, my RV is a 2023 Forest River R Pod 153. <laughs> so so that's a lot. Let me go ahead and get that out the way. It is a 2023 Forest River R Pod 153 model. So that's the model. And again, it's a 2023. So now, back to my mistakes. The, mis the first mistake was me going by myself. And no, it has nothing to do with gender. It literally has to do with having an extra set of eyes. Certain things that I've noticed now that I've been in Tamara and have done decorating and like been through almost every crack and cranny of this space, I noticed that <laughs> I purchased a brand new RV and crap was already wrong with it. So I believe if I had an extra person with me, they would have noticed some of those things that I did not notice. And also because of the poor weather conditions, it was super dark. I, I guess you could say I was kind of rushed, but it was no fault of general RV that I was rushed. It just really had to do with the weather conditions. It was a tornado, hurricane warning, you know, all that stuff. And Domino was in Jacksonville at the time and they had the same type of warnings. And at the time I also had a roof leakage in Domino. So I needed to make sure that I got back to Jacksonville in time and was able to put the tarp on top to make sure uh, that I didn't have a lot of water coming in during the storm. So, my two big mistakes. Let me go ahead and show you some of the not so nice things that I've noticed in my space. Okay, so here is my window. First look, everything is fine, but I notice that I have a screw missing right here. And the crazy part is when I lifted up this couch cushion to put in the wallpaper earlier this week, I found the screw <laughs> that was missing from this space. And so I tried to put it back in and I'm not sure if it's stripped or what, but it no longer stays in place. So that's something that I need to fix and figure out, um, you know, if it's a big deal. And ultimately I feel like it is a big deal because the screw wouldn't be there if it wasn't necessary. So, missing screw. All right, my friends, welcome to my bathroom. I have a Max Air Fan in here, and one of these pieces are not like the other, <laughs> and is this one right here, so it's broken. This piece right here is broke, and I did not do it myself, which means it was broken when I purchased it, and another set of eyes would have been able to see what I did not see. And since we are still in the bathroom, let's talk about something else. This right here. Again, this is brand new. <laughs> so just seeing things like this 
kind of irritates me because uh, I just would not have, you know, purchased it. So let's keep going. And we are in my kitchen area. And let's keep going about this chip paint, my friends. Oh, we have some here and also here. So that's the last bit of the chip paint. So we're over here by my fridge. Here's my fridge freezer situation. And I noticed this. Look at how poor. Let me make sure we are focused. You see this? The fridge is not flush, like at all. You see <laughs> this cushion? That is a hot mess. So my fridge on one side is not flush and I'll show you the other side for comparison. Here's the other side. It's flush. And oops, sorry. So it's flush and you see the little cushion that's over there, I mean over here. So crappy job, but I, <laughs> If someone else is here, they possibly would have noticed this. Is it a big deal? No, but again, this is a 2023 model, friends. Horrible, in my opinion. Okay, here's a look at the plug, one of the plugs that is inside um, the space. It's not flush. This right here actually sticks out. Let's try and get closer. So it sticks out on this side over here but it's completely pushed in on the opposite side and yes it may not be a big deal but let me take you to the one over here I know that it can be pushed in and flushed so <laughs> you know they could have done better and if I had an extra set of eyes I would have been able to see again errors that were in this particular bill. Alrighty, so that's all the things that I've noticed inside of the space. Woo! Let's <laughs> I look like Casper. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's get outside and I'll show you um, some of the things that I noticed that's wrong on the outside. So let me flip you guys around. <laughs> Can you see me? Let's see. Yay. Hey. Alrighty, so these doors, yet again, so up here, it's not flushed. And that's the weather stripping or the weather strip that's right here. So I don't like that <laughs> at all. And let's go to the outside. So this is a water spigot. Um, I have a hose that I can plug in out here and basically I'll be able to wash off Jada or my shoes and stuff like that is connected to the water line. But this, it doesn't close. <gasps> and it's broke actually, so that's probably why it didn't close all the way. See? Oh, and it still won't close. So yeah, this. It won't close and now it really won't close so i'll end up oh, figuring out a way to buy a new cap for it or something but yeah this that is that my friends all right it's pretty sunny out here so let me go ahead and remove um this Ooh, really quick okay so this right here is the back of my fridge and my fridge runs off of 120 volt when I'm plugged in it'll use that but when I unplug the propane is supposed to flip right on well that didn't happen and a lot of my food went bad because I didn't know I was told once I unplug my propane is supposed to turn back on and the reason it didn't because this line right here wasn't connected and so because you know I had domino in the past and I was did a lot of the electrical and everything I went through the owner's manual and pulled it out and kind of like went through everything and I noticed that the lines wasn't even connected and also it was so much like sawdust and everything in here and the crazy part is there's a flame that lights when you know you connect to propane so it was kind of scary to know that if 
the propane light would have flashed or if the flame would have connected my rv possibly could have you know got smoky or even caught on fire because it was so much sawdust in here so in hindsight thank god the lines wasn't connected because who knows you know how that situation could have went but once i noticed that i went ahead and cleaned out this space and then i connected the lines and now my propane stove works when i'm not actually plugged in so that's one thing um if i would have had an extra person with me then they probably would have said like hey Brittany, why don't you check to make sure your fridge freezer works when you're not actually plugged in you know Okie dokie, let's go back inside. This sun is like all up in my face. Okie dokie, so yeah. To me personally, for this to be a 2023, those are a lot of things that are wrong with this RV. And you could say that it falls onto Forest River, the manufacturer of the RV, or you can say it falls on to General RV, the people who sold me this RV in this state. Um, but ultimately like it falls on me as the buyer because i was supposed to inspect this as if literally buying a new home like this was a huge purchase and i personally did not do my due diligence when i bought it so in order to learn from my mistakes i personally feel like you do need another person with you to have an extra set of eyes to be able to look at all of these little things and you guys kind of divide and conquer and also make sure that it's nice weather out so you'll be able to have enough light to be able to see all those little things that i didn't see um so if you've made a purchase like this before go ahead and write in the comments below some tips that you uh feel are important maybe some things that i miss like certain things you need to check for um and look and see before you buy um i will also say if there is a possibility if you go and you see that you like a model so like let's use mine for example this is a rpot 153 and let's say you have two or three rpot 153s in stock look at all three of them <laughs> because you know the second one may be in even better condition than the third one so take your time and look at all three of the models and you can rank them however you want bring a piece of paper notepad and stuff like that and rank them to which one is in the better condition or state and you know that could also work out but yes have an extra set of eyes and make sure that is good weather so you'll be able to make a very informed decision and use those eyes to be able to see things that um i didn't see before i signed the line <laughs> okay so i'm not gonna end the video on like a sour note because i told you i love my home and i've put so much work in it to like get it to this state to when i walk in I just have this smile on my face because I'm proud of my purchase and also I love all the work that I've put into it so if you haven't watched my videos on decorating the space and making it feel like home you should um, so you can see all the work that I put in so let's end that and let's talk about all the things that I love about my little tiny home on wheels because for real for real I get so excited when I come in my space I'm smiling from ear to ear because I genuinely love my home it is a upgrade from Domino um, and I just love the fact that I'm able to disconnect I know some people you know are like oh it's you know I, I wish you would have gotten something that's all in one or I do miss Domino compared to sister sister setup and I get it a lot of y'all met me when I was in Domino, but you only got to see a certain piece or, you know, exactly what I put out there. This situation is so much different and better, and I feel like I will be able to explore and adventure more in these towns and cities that I go to because I'll be able to leave my house away you know i'll be able to leave my home and then just go in my vehicle and explore the town and 
if you don't actively live this lifestyle, you don't really understand the stress that you have. Like when I go to uh, Planet Fitness or if I'm going inside a grocery store in the city, I my stress level is slightly elevated because not only do I have Jada in the vehicle by myself, but my home is sitting outside like everything is outside and <laughs> you know that is stressful so just being able to disconnect like unhook <laughs> being able to disconnect like unhitch uh the two and just being able to leave my home in a space and then take my car like that is just it's just a great for me so be happy because I'm so happy with this new setup, friends. So, okay, let's talk about all the things that I love about my tiny home on wheels. It's crazy. I'm looking at my list, friends, and everything that's listed on here are things that Domino were lacking. So, <laughs> let's get into it. And I think the most important thing, what set this RV apart, initially, I did not even go in with the intent to get this particular model I can't remember the exact name of the other one but it was more um, circular from the front to the back but it was missing two two crazy things that this one has that the other one didn't so let me flip y'all around and one of those things were this doggone fridge freezer setup friends I did not have a freezer inside of Domino I only had a fridge and it was a chest fridge and so now I have all of this space, okay? This is space for days and your girl has a freezer. And I went over three years without having a freezer. So now I can have ice, ice cream, frozen meals and everything. And so that is an upgrade in itself, okay? All right, let's get into this bathroom, friends. I legit have a full bathroom, okay? In Domino, I was pooping and peeing in the bucket. <laughs> And outside I was digging holes and I still will be digging those holes don't mind the stuff that is in the shower those are just extra blankets and my shower bag and pillows and stuff that's winter mode because I can shower at my sister's so yeah this full bathroom is everything but please know when I'm out in the elements I still possibly will be digging those holes and using the restroom outside because why go inside that's more for me to have to dump okay so full bathroom I love this very grateful and thankful for my bathroom another thing that I just love 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 about this space is that it is equipped with Bluetooth speakers inside and outside and for those of you who know and been here for a while y'all know that my world is ran off of music so I would literally this is my music phone it's a burner phone that I bought just to connect to the Wi-Fi to have music and so just being able to have my music playing inside and outside that's a win my friends let's close this and what is this I'm closing a door friends I use <laughs> like oh yes you have a door yes I have a door which means I can install a mirror I went over three years without having a mirror inside of my space I had like a small circle mirror so I never was able to get like the full view and I think this is so nice somewhat of a luxury to have a door to be able to install a mirror so I love this even though I installed the mirror myself and it did not come with the space hey at least I had a door to be able to install one so that's a win for me alrighty I know y'all heard my bones cracking <laughs> so embarrassing so the space has a convection oven microwave oven combo and this only works while I am plugged in so I use it because I'm at my sister's and it's cool to have but once I go to Florida I will be removing this convection oven microwave because it is a waste of space for me um, I do plan on be being out in the elements more than I am like hooked up in a campground so this is going to make a perfect space um, for a cabinet so I will be removing this um, to add a cabinet so I love that I can use it now for a microwave but I also love it that I'm going to have another space for um, storage. Another cool feature um, in this space is a like dustpan. 
So let me open it and show you. Yeah, that was kind of loud. So I no longer have to like really use my dustpan and like push this stuff out. I just gather everything, lift it up and push it out and it goes outside. So of course I make sure I pick up all the little product, the little particles that don't belong outside, um, throw those in the trash, but everything else, it gets sucked outside. And we're moving up and your girl has a TV y'all. And this is a 12 volt TV. So it works when I'm not actually plugged in to like, you know, 120 volt. So you see the car plug back there, the 12 volt plug. Yep. I have a television and it also comes with like the regular channels like PBS and all that stuff. <laughs> so if I don't have my Starlink, I have my Starlink over there. So if I'm not plugged into Starlink and I still want to watch some TV, I can watch PBS Kids and go to sleep to that, which I have no problem. I've done that many a times at Crackle Barrel. So in Domino, I actually had a full size bed in here and this is considered a queen or a camper queen. And to me personally, I think it's still a full size bed because those pink sheets I used in Domino, well not the sheets, but the comforter, the comforter I used in Domino and it fits. So I believe a camper queen is literally like a full size bed in real life. But I just love the fact that it's like a bed really you know and then I have the little trim in the front in the back so I'm able to put things there um I just like it and also I didn't have to build it you know what I'm saying and underneath I have storage not as much storage as Domino did up underneath the bed but it's enough storage to you know store the things that I need storing so I appreciate this queen bed even though I feel like it's just a full-size bed and last but not least, I have pretty much almost a 360 view when I'm inside of this space and I have all of the windows open. I don't want to do it right now because I am in a neighborhood, um, but let me show you a clip from when I was at a campground. The only window I didn't have open was the one that was behind the kitchen and is beautiful. The only reason I don't have that 360 is because I have the bathroom, of course, but just being able to open up all of my windows, my doors, and just being able to feel like you've been placed right inside of this beautiful space, but you're like in a glass bubble. I love that feel. So <laughs> I feel like this home is better than Domino to a certain extent because of all of the extra little things that come with it. And the fact that I personally didn't have to build it myself because y'all, your girl is tired. <laughs> you know, some people were like, well, why didn't you build, you know, something else for yourself like a new camper van? Cause I'm tired. Like it took a lot of work to build Domino and everything and a lot of time. And I just want to travel. I really just want to get in the vehicle, get in my car and just go. And so that's the reason why I actually purchased something that was already made and did not, you know, buy an empty shell and design and do everything myself. Now this space overall, it kind of feels like it's smaller than Domino. Um, and I don't necessarily feel like it's smaller, but I don't have as much like visual storage as I used to. Domino used to sit up three feet. So in my bed, you know, I had a bed and then I was able to have clothes up there and then underneath that was like my garage. But this space in itself, I have a full bathroom. You know, my kitchen area is smaller, but I have a full bathroom. You know, um, I don't have as much storage underneath the space, but I have a full kitchen, I'm sorry, but I have a full fridge freezer and I did not have that in Domino. So it is a lot of things. It's like, yeah, you know, Domino has some of these things and Tamara has some of these things, but I love this new space that I'm in and I'm happy, you know, in this space that I'm in. It's not perfect. Um, obviously because mistakes were made when I made this purchase but I am overall happy with my purchase and I'm excited 
to actually get on the road in spring and be able to open up all of my windows and just look out and see the mountains and everything else that surrounded me. Um, so yeah, I think that is pretty much it, my friends. Um, <laughs> I think that is all I have for you. But before I go again, the two mistakes that I made that you can avoid when you make a purchase for your RV or a camper van or whatever it may be is to make sure you go with someone, you know, as an extra set of eyes and you make sure that is good weather. Um, also, so you'll be able to, you know, actually see every little detail. Um, and again, if you've made a purchase like this and you have some tips and tricks and all that stuff um, for others, go ahead and leave it in the comments below because this is legit a community. And y'all be so sweet to each other in the comments. Like, <laughs> it's, it'd be so nice to see. Um, so yeah, leave all that information below for others so they can, you know, read about it as well. Um, so yeah, that's all I have for you guys, my friends. I'm not sure what's to come for the next video so you'll just have to tune in to find out because your girl does not know <laughs> okay so i love you all thank you so much for tuning in to find out where is Brittany. i'm gonna see y'all later bye <laughs>